a trek to the edge of Ukraine, where it appears borders are being restored. This video, released by Ukraine's defense ministry, claims to show troops planting a boundary marker at the country's Russian border in Kharkiv region. President Vladimir Zelensky thanks the soldiers who have won back the territory north of Ukraine's second city, a further indication that Russia is being forced back. But the Kremlin's attention is also being diverted westward. A day after Finland, Sweden formally confirmed its intention to join NATO, leaving behind 200 years of neutrality in direct response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. As a NATO member, Sweden would not only strengthen its own security, but also contribute to enhance security in the Baltic Sea region. Canada's Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie met with European Union Foreign Ministers Monday. She says there is cross-party support for Canada to quickly approve Finland and Sweden's accession to NATO. The Prime Minister is a very seized of the matter and we think that it could take days for Canada. So that's why we want to be one of the uh, first countries to do so. It may not be so simple in Turkey. It wants both Nordic nations to end their support for the PKK Kurdistan Workers Party. Turkey regards the Kurdish separatist group as a terrorist organization, as does Canada and other allies. In Moscow, Vladimir Putin hosted a meeting of NATO's Russian-led equivalent, the Collective Security Treaty Organization. It is a club of six former Soviet nations. Putin told his counterparts the proposed NATO enlargement poses no threat to their alliance, but he warned that any new NATO infrastructure closer to Russia would provoke a response. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.